This show is brought to you by MaddieLive.com. Normal people, real issues. First, I started off in the, um, you know, in the Midwest, pushing CDs like Master P, you know what I'm saying, I straight out the trunk, you know. But then um, I had a single bubbling in the Midwest, it was called I Wanna Know. I wanna know if you want me, baby. And it did pretty good for me. Then um, I, uh, I, had, I went to Chicago, I hooked up with WGCI. Big ups to everybody in Chicago, you know, supporting me. And uh, we did this record, it's called Separated. <laughs> That record right there took off like wildflower, you know what I'm saying? And everybody started noticing me, the record company started calling, and it was a lot of people calling, and Magic Johnson had just opened up his label. So I felt like this would be a good opportunity for me because I wanted to be my own a and I wanted to do the things that I wanted to do. So I um, I called him up, he's like, yo, I, I love, I would love to have you. Interview, beautiful situation. You know, long story short, short, that's how I end up here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, that's what's up. So tell us a little bit about you and I. What's, what's oh, yeah, you know, I'm, it's, it's crazy because, you know, when I'm working the first project, which was uh, my thoughts, I ran into this young lady, her name was Kiki White. I mean, she was only 16 years old at that time, 16, 17 years old. And I want to always want to do that song, My First Love. And I was like, yo, man, I got to find somebody to do this record with. So. Kiki was like, I mean, my, 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 my producer at that time was like, yo, I got the perfect girl. So he brought her in and I'm like, this is a little baby. <laughs> but she sung the song like a queen. She killed it. She killed the record. So, and that's, you know, that was the beginning of her. And from that point, we started off here with this uh, you and I thing. So it's just a blessing, man. It's the high people that's, that's that talent in your, in your life. And, and we're going to do a duet album after this one, Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So your album drops when February. February five, man. Everybody get ready for February five. It's called Face the Music. Cause everybody in your life at one point you have to face the music. Exactly. All right. You have to face the music. So you know, I think it's a it's, it's a real wide rounded work record. We have uh, you know, I have some up tempos. I got some mid tempos. I got some slow joints. Hey, trust me, your man's bringing a real album to the table. Okay, so I want to know, I, and some of your fans want to know, like who were some of your influences growing up wow. as a kid? You know what, my mom had me listen to everybody, really. Marvin Gaye, okay. Teddy Pendergrass, he was yelling like hell in the house. Oh, Lord. Well, Turn off the lights, you know oh. what I'm saying? He was okay. real with it. Um, you know, Baby Face, just so many different artists, Michael Jackson, so many different artists, and you know, I try to, you know, bring a lot of their music to what I do. And, and speaking on the reality of everything that's going on in the world too. So it's just you started writing? I started so you, it's funny, what I did was I didn't start writing, I start memorizing. For those that you know you want to write, first off you gotta figure out how the whole thing goes. I start memorizing first and it's funny because we was riding up here and shame shame to say. <laughs> But one of the first records I memorized was Two Shorts, Freaky Tale. Oh my and God! And I know that record verbatim. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But that's what I started. I would walk to school and I would sing that, that record. And I was too young to be really reciting those lyrics. But it was a beautiful thing. So and it helped me out. So thanks, Short Dog. Yeah, big ups to Two Shorts, right? <laughs> oh my God. So what can we expect from this new album well, that just, you're putting out? I, I want to bring back love. The whole aspect of how music was intended to be, you know, because mm -hmm. right now I think it's good. I think music is in a good spot right now because everybody's trying to do something different. So when they hear something legendary and something special, they really embrace that. So that's what they're doing with the new single, You and I. Thank everybody for supporting that. Continues to call the radio station 
and support this record because it's a real record. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you. Going off and everything. I know, this see, is, this is this is live. This is a live interview right here. Yeah. The two turns for my man Barack. Y'all give it up for Barack Obama. And not only that, give it up for yourself for going out there and voting for real. And let's make him the best president ever. We can do that. We need this. We, he needs your help. So we got to get out there and support that man and do what he, we got to do. Just a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. um, in our community, you know, um, what do you think about education? Um, education is everything. I'm not just saying that. I have, I have a nine-year-old, right? Right. And I have to feed the right thing to him because, you know, and not always preaching at him, but talk to him. Okay. And I think that a lot of times, our, us parents, we just preach at kids. And if you're preaching at someone, it bounces back. They don't hear it. So you have to really find out what angle it, you can take that they understand you and they hear you. And that, you know, I think that's the focus more than anything. Education starts at home so that you get teachers a head start. Okay, that's awesome. And if you could change anything in this world, what would you change? I would change the way I feel right now because I'm tired. <laughs> But I'm all good. <laughs> now you cheated. I'm serious. What would you change? I would change. I, I really, I guess life is about change, period. So it's so much to change, it's hard to just aim at one thing. But I would change people's hearts at times. You know what I mean? Everybody should have a, a giving heart or a sensitive heart. Because, I mean, you can't be gangsta at 6 o'clock in the morning and just woke up. You can't. I mean, I remember, you know, back in the 80s, where the hardest cat was Michael Jackson singing bad. Exactly. I'm being real. Yeah, you know? no, seriously, But yeah. now, all of a sudden, it's a different image. You have to be extra tough. And I, I just don't know it. I don't understand it. That's awesome. Well, this concludes our interview with Avant. We can't wait to pick up your single. Yeah, yeah, they pick up your single. But no, no, the single's out right now. It's on okay. iTunes. You can pick up the single, it's called You and I. The album comes out February 5th, all right? And also hit me up on Twitter at Avant Music. Yo, I, I'm new on this Twitter thing, so I got like 11,000 people. But I need like a, a hundred thousand, you feel me? I want a hundred thousand tonight. So y'all jump on there, holler at me, I'm gonna holler back at y'all. Also hit me up on Instagram at Avant. You just go to Avant, go to Facebook, just go to Avant. You gonna see me, and hopefully I'm gonna be sexy when you see me too. <laughs> That's the most important part, you know. I might get naked, you know. I've been working out, oh, no. so you know. I mean, hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. There's a free world. Oh yeah, exactly. Chicken dinner. Matter of fact, I'm about to tell you it off right now. Yeah. Yo, what up? What up? It's your man Avon, and you're checking out Donna Garza Tricks in the Hat. Yo, we having a good time, y'all. Check this show out. I had a blast. Peace.